Okay, Super Mario is back, and this time I'm gonna talk about the games for the Super Nintendo and the Sega Master System. And uh, I'm gonna start right away, but first I'm gonna tell you something. I have also bought uh, some replica uh, footerals or cover for two Super Nintendo games. So um, it is in plastic case, so it's a reproduction, and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But I'm gonna start with the Master System games. And for those of you who are just arrived to my channel for the first time, welcome! I present uh, reviews of everything between heaven and earth, actually. It can be food, it can be treats. There will be a treat video later on with Halloween treat. I can say so much. But today I'm gonna talk about games for the Master System and take a look at my other reviews of Master System games to see everything else that I have of games. And I got games for Super Nintendo, for Master System, Dreamcast and so on. Just take a look in my list of videos on my channel. Without any more talking, we are going straight to this game here. This is Wonder Boy in Monster World, it says. This is how it looks like. And this is the top of it, Sega Master System. Somebody has written the name on the paper. That's a little bit sad because I can't take it away. But that's the way it is. Nothing to do about it. Wonder Boy in Monster World. And you can see I get a little glare from the lamp here. There's nothing to do about it because the daylight is very low outside uh, here now during the winter time. So I have to use a lamp over here to um, so you can see the game I'm showing you. And this is the side of it. And this is the end of it. 9012 it says uh, as a modern number at the side here. So now you know. If I try to tilt it, it will go out of focus right away, so I'm not going to do that. This is the back of it. Here you can read the text for yourself and just pause the camera to uh, to uh, read the text is that simple and here's the picture of the game as well so I'm just gonna move it slowly up so you can see the text and you can see everything for yourself so this is a good game with good music and everything and uh, I can recommend uh, this um, games a lot one player it says and that's pretty much it so this is Wonder Boy yeah, in Monster World for the Sega Master System. Yeah, we're gonna move further on. I'm gonna put it down there. Next up, Aztec Adventure, the Mega Cartridge. Yeah, this is the picture of it. This is the older type of cartridge, and uh, luckily the the picture here is actually decent, so that's okay. This is a decent game as well. This is the side of it. Here it says Aztec Adventure for you, the Mega Cartridge. And this is the model number at the side, 5100. So uh, I'm going to show you the back, the awesome picture here. Let's see here, you have to ri uh, ri write this or write this for yourself here. Just pause the camera so you can see this. And this is the last of it. And that's pretty much it, nothing more at the bottom here as well. So this is a game I can recommend as well. Aztec Adventure. Next up, this might give you a little glare from glare from the lamp. I'm sorry for that because this has black cover and then you know what kind kind of game is coming up here. It's Robocop vs Terminator. This is for the Master System, of course. Let's see, can I make a better picture of it? No, I don't think I can. This is the best there is. This is an arcade, as you can see, arcade game. And here you got Arnold. And you got uh, Robocop. So, uh, and it's given up by Virgin. And at the side here, this is what it looks at the side. Side label, if I can call it that. And here is a model number MK Streak 290022 Streak 50. Yeah, so, and this is the back of it. Yeah, I hope you can read the text. It's a little bit small text, but I hope you can read this. I'm gonna hold it as still as I can. Just pause. This game here is pretty hard game actually. It has 
six levels, one player, and you can use the Sega control pad or stick. I have them both because some games are good with stick and some games are good with regular controllers. So that was Robocop vs Terminator for you. Yeah, and the next game up is Tasmania. It's just called Tasmania. This is the side of it. Some of the cartridge has very nice uh, label actually, so that's good. 7111 is uh, the model number on this one. Let's see, this is small writing again, but I'm doing my best for you here. You can see that the paper is a little bit, yeah, probably a little bit of moist at some point I've, or a damp have come inside and make this uh, a little bit weird, this paper. But this is the back. And I'm gonna take it up here so you can read for you the rest of it. As I said, just pause to read it all. Rounds 5, players 1, it says, and you can use the control or the stick here again. So this is Tasmania for you, and I can guarantee you this game here is much better than the, um, than the Super Nintendo version, because that's a crappy version. This is actually a platform game. Adventure platform, I would say. Alright. <coughs> Next up, Thun Thunderblade. It's also an arcade game. Here is the front cover of it. It's the chopper bombing um, tanks. This is the side of it. And here it says a 2 mega cartridge. 7011 is the model number on this one. This is the back of it. Read for yourself. Put it down like this so you can see the rest. Yeah. So this is Thunderblade. And the last game for the Master System. Since uh, this game here is a little bit special because I bought a Master System 1. That's because I want to use the SCART function on it because I have the wire, the, the Mega Drive 1 uh, plug can be used on Master System and you can hook it up by SCART and I got a converter from SCART to HDMI that gives great picture with the Master System, it's perfect actually and on the first Master System you also got a card slot so I, uh, I know about the store who sell these cards actually and um, I called them up and said I want to have a cart that looks nice with a uh, futural and a cover with other words and I want the cheapest you have because I'm just going to test that the card slot are working and there are only 10 games approx on the market for that Sega card so there you have that and I got this one here this is Super Tennis you can see a little bit of the corner here has been chipped a little bit, uh, been treated a little bit bad, or somebody managed to drop this on the floor. This is the card itself, and it's this size you see here that is held between the, ha uh, the hand like this is the actual size of the card. And I can show you that actually. I have to open it up, and I have to take that away first, and take it out. And if I try to do this. And I hold it there. Now you see it. It's pretty much the same. So there you have that. And this cart, the inner cart, the plastic case for the cartridge is missing. So if I do this, you can see here the inner cart are missing because I have to put it down like this. What I do is to take a little bit of a napkin and just put it in here like this. Over the cart, folded napkin and just close it with it. And I can shake it, and it's up in it, and it is at its place. That's what I wanna say. So this is the Sega card, Super Tennis, and this is the side of it. It doesn't say anything about the model number here. Uh, all right. So 
this game here it looks like uh, the NES tennis actually. It's pretty much the same. And here is the text. And, and luckily, it's a bigger writing here, really bigger letters, so you can read for yourself here. So, and here's the rest of the text. And there's nothing more to see here. Now there are no limits. It says, "Okay, that's the way it is." And now I'm going over to Super Nintendo. And I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna show you some games that I bought first to the Super Nintendo. The first game, R-Type. I decided to buy it from Irem. And this is the American version. As I said, I have an adapter for this, so that's okay. And this is the back, not much to see here, except from that it's, it's in good nick. And this is the top of it, so that's okay. And this label is different compared to the European one, actually, so uh, now you know. So I decided to buy this, because I have R-Type for the Master System as well. So I decided to buy this one as well, so I can try it out at least. I'm gonna put that away. Next up is a game you can call a bad game, but I decided to buy it anyway to try it, to see for myself. The Wizard of Oz from Zeta. You can see the card is a little bit different here. Mm -hmm. And this is the top of it. And this is the back. It looks nice. So there you have that. This is Wizard of Oz for the American Super Nintendo. And the last game I bought loose is this. Palanx. And this is a space shooting game, so what the heck, uh, a banjo, uh, a guy with a banjo is sitting and a spaceship in the background, I don't understand that label at all, but that's the way it is. This is Palanx, by the way, from Kemco. This is the top of it. This is the back of it. Again, in good nick. So, there you have it. And games, I'm going... I have one more, by the way, here first. And this is in box. It's a slot game, a Japanese slot game actually. So uh, I like these slot games from Japan. I think it's nifty and it's fun to play. So um, there you have that. And I have played this a lot. I have a few of them, uh, different kind of this, as loose cards as well. So this is a slot game that are for the Super Famicom, but I can run those games by an adapter anyway. SHVC Streak 04 are the model number on this one, and this is completed with manual and everything. Let's see if I can show you that. I can. Let's see. Ooh, oh, okay. This is the manual. And this is a little bit inside of the manual, just to show you quickly, it's Japanese text anyway, so there you have that. And this is the back of it, it's just red with some label here. Yeah, and of course the cartridge here, in plastic, still in plastic. So that's nice. So it's a good nick, it's barely used. So there you have that, I've decided to keep the plastic on it for now. And you got uh, some wonky cards here as well. So it's completed with everything. I'm gonna put this back again in in here. The manual we put at the top of the card because it has the pocket for that on top. So there you have that. I'm gonna put that away again. And we gonna jump over to the games that are going to get new. Futural, yeah. And the first game, let's see if uh, the camera can pick it well up. Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. It is a little bit, if I tilt it like this, you can see it better. It's a plastic, uh, so this is the side of it. So this is a big plastic cover. That's nice. So there you have the text. Yeah, and you got pictures here as well of Hyrule. 
So this game I have beaten actually for sale and use in the United States only. This is imported from the United States States and all the way up here to Norway. So that's nice. I just saw it in the store where I usually go to buy games. So I decided, yeah, I need a box for that. So now I'm gonna find a game just to show you that. I still don't have the manual, but I'm gonna search for that as well. Here is the game. It's the European version of the game, but it fits in here anyway. So it's okay. It's a little bit loose in here, but let's see. There we have it. And it's still a little bit loose. I have to hold it a little bit, but that's the way it is. And I just close, close it and the game sitting perfectly fine in here. So that's Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. So I decided to buy this because I didn't pay much for this. So that's nice. So it has a SNES PSZL. It's probably a model number before the reproduction cover. That's my guess. So I have boxed that one. Yes, and I'm gonna box one more. I bought one more. And uh, it's great. And this should be familiar. Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. And it says only for Nintendo. Plastic case again. That's nice. So, um, this one I have in a Japanese version, by the way. It doesn't matter. It works perfectly fine. And I have no problem with that. So, and this is the back of it. Let's see if you can see the text. Yes, you can. So, there you have it. And there are also more text here. Also, some important information. Yeah. And this is the picture from the game. So this is the minecart level, swimming level, the first level I think it is, and other level. I can't remember off the top of my head. This game I haven't beaten yet. This game is a little bit hard, in my opinion. But I decided to buy this, so I can box that game as well. And now, here is the cart. Donkey Kong, it says Super Donkey Kong on this one. Doesn't matter. And I'm gonna put it in. And there you have it. Let's see, I have to. There we have it. So now it's in the cover, and I can close it up this as well. And it's boxed. That's nice. I think that this cover is very colorful and nice. If I do tilt it like this so it doesn't give you glare from the lamp here, you can see that. And here it says. Art Incredible 3D Adventure of the Kingdom of Kong. Alright. Okay. So there you have it. What this B is for, I don't know. Probably it is on the American cover, I don't know. Donkey Kong Country. For Nintendo, of course. So, plastic case on this one. See, so I can have it in the shelf. I think that's nice. And uh, to box these two games there, it's nice. I also got another game here that I showed you earlier on that also got a, this plastic cover and just to show it quickly again it's Super 3D Noah's Ark and it's a little bit dusty let's see if I can take some of the dust away like that let's try this yeah that looks much better you can see it from Wisdom Tree play on Super Nintendo and what's cool about this card I can show you this again it's okay it's from Pico this is the back of it mm, read for yourself I have showed you this earlier on, so I'm not going to go into much detail about this. Here are some pictures of the game again. Because I reviewed this game earlier on. And just to show you this cart inside here, this is a little bit nice. If I open it up, I got the manual here. Mm, I put that over there. This is a regular cart. That means that this has been ported over to the cartridge. I put that over there for a while, so you can see this. And uh, the the original cart was made like a game genie almost. You have to put another cart at top to get it to work. So uh, it looks like a converter, but this is in original. So that's very good. And here, if this will be too much clear, maybe you can pick it up if I tilt it a little bit. You can read this. Uh, camera struggle a little bit, but I think you can read this. 
so and this is the top by the way for those who wants to see that as it is a little bit loose here I just have to do this and it's it's nice again. so this is super Noah's Ark 3d yeah so that's great and now I'm gonna show you something else I did bought I'm gonna put that back in its case first so I can put that away without destroying anything here. I, since I now got a lot of American games, I decided to buy this as well. This is the American version of Game Genie, actually. So there you have that. There is a switcher to activate the cheat code or not. And this is the underpart and this is the side here. And it has some information here as well. Oh, that was a little bit too close because of the light. I think you can read it out a little bit out again. Yeah, that's the way it is. I can hold it there. And this has a weird lock mechanism here. If you see, you can tilt this out a little bit. Not much. If I hold it like this, you can see that. And that is when you put in a game at the top here. This will lock. So you can't pull out the game when it's in the console. So there you have that. This I didn't pay much for because the book is missing. It doesn't matter because you can get the code, a lot of code for this on the internet. So who cares? And I also got Action Replay MK3 for the um, uh, Super Nintendo. That's one. That one is a uh, PAL version, by the way. And I also got uh, MK2. To Mega Drive and I also got Game Genie to Mega Drive as well. Do I have that Game Genie laying around? Guess what I have. And this is how the oh it's a dusty one here, it's laying around for a while. It's okay. And this is the Game Genie for the Mega Drive. Pretty much the same. And here is the same uh, information again, and this is the bottom of it. Here you can see the pin connector very clearly and nicely. Anyway, and this is the Game Genie for the 8-bit system. As you can see, this has been altered a little bit. I have cut off at the top here. There is a reason for that. Because I have third party, um, um, or third party, a pirate, I could say. Not third party, but a pirate console that I'm using this Game Genie in. And to make it fit, I have to cut the little part down here away, so it fit in. Take a look at the review for my uh, pirate console called Arco or NASA. That's why I have to cut this off to use it in there. And the NASA and Arco can use this. Both NASA and Arco also support the, that special chip you have to have to use Castlevania 3, by the way. And I also bought a cleaning system for uh, the American uh, cartridges and the American Super Nintendo because I have a, a Nintendo for the American cartridges, cartridges as well. And this is Naki and as you can see it's a Super Nintendo cleaning system. Eliminates, prevents power flashes, blank screen and scrambled pictures. Yeah. I can take it out afterwards and show you a little bit more. So this is just a plastic device that you put in to your console and take it in and out to clean it. And you can also use cleaning fluid and down there to clean it up. So uh, didn't pay much for this either, so that's cool. And just at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you something else. I realize I managed, I didn't take in the manual for the uh, 3D Noah's Ark. I can do it later on. I bought some demo for uh, the PlayStation 2 actually, some old demos. And the price stickers are still on those. It doesn't matter. So this is one of them. It just says PlayStation 2. I paid 50 Norwegian crown for it and it's in perfect condition. Disc uh, condition 5 out of 6, so that's good enough. And this is a demo of uh, some games. I don't know if you can read this through the plastic. Uh, maybe you can? Yes, you can. So there you have the demo games that are inside. So 
this is le a co coca cola half a liter of coca cola cost 21 up here and this cost 15 now you understand it's not much that i paid for it so this is just to show to test some games to this and i have two more of this here as well and it's called pc world dvd it says and it contains also some uh, let's see pc world dvd 25 i paid for this and it contains Final Fantasy X. I have the original game of that in the shelf. But there are more games here. Metal Gear Solid, James Bond, 007 and so on. So I just bought this because there are some games that I wanna that I wanna test out that are here. This game here, how far can I get it? Jurassic Park 3 is very interesting. That's why I bought this. I sorted the demo disc cover used, it says. And I bought it at Neo Tokyo, by the way. It's a store up here that sells all games from Japan and so on. And I got one more of this. Devil May Cry, I have the original game, but there are some other games here that I want to test out a little bit. So there you have that. And this is the other side of it. Uh, the light shines a little bit to the pla through the plastic here. I haven't opened this yet. So uh, there you have it, you can see some of the games here, 15 age of year you have to be here. Uh, so, and this is the side of it, June 7, it says, and I think this is, let me see here, this is 2001, June 7, 2001, sorry I managed to bump to the camera here, uh, it's okay, let's see the other one at the back here. Volume 9 August it says, and I think this is also 2001, I think. Let's see if I can find out about that. Yeah, it says right here. Here it says, let's see. Volume 9 August 2001, it says. So there you have it. Sorry that I bumped into the camera, I hope it's okay. So uh, there you have it, that was something that I want to show you today and I hope you like the review of this this different games I bought so thank you for watching my channel and thank you for watching my reviews there will come a review later on there will be more reviews from me so uh, thank you for watching and I wish you all a pleasant evening day or night where, uh, wherever you are bye bye take care everyone